There's one WordPress security mistake a lot of beginners make, and that's keeping your default login URL. This is the URL you use to log into your WordPress dashboard. Think about it like this. If you lived in a dangerous neighborhood, you'd probably add some extra security measures to protect your home, like a gate or fence around your property. In the same way, it's very important to add extra security measures to protect your WordPress website. And one way of doing that is by changing your login URL. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, I'm Yaz from the Brainstorm Force team, creators of the most popular WordPress team in the world, Astra. And on our channel, we create WordPress tutorials for beginners and non-coders. So if you want to improve your WordPress skills, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on your notifications. All right, let's get started with the video. All right, here we are on our WordPress website. The first thing I'm going to show you is how our current login page looks. So if I open up an incognito tab here and type in the URL, the standard login page for WordPress is your, your domain name slash WP admin, just like that. As you can see, it was really easy to end up on this login page for a website. All anyone has to do is type in the domain name slash WP dash admin. So anyone could end up on this login page and begin trying to hack your website. So we really want to avoid that. And to do that, we can create a custom login URL that no one else would really know. All right, let's go back onto WordPress dashboard. And the first thing we're going to do is install the plugin that will allow us to change our login URL. To do that, let's go into plugins on the left-hand side here and press add new. And over on the right-hand side, we can search for hide login. And the one we're after is this one here, WPS hide login. We can press install now. And then we can also press activate. And as we can see, the plugin has been activated and we can go ahead and press settings down here. As you see right here, we have WPS hide login and that's just in the general settings page of our WordPress dashboard right at the bottom. So if you wanna access that, you can go into settings and click on general to find the WPS hide login settings. And right here, we have two different options. We have login URL and redirection URL. The first one, login URL, refers to changing your login URL to whatever you'd like. Currently, it's set to login. So our domain name slash login, and that's going to be used instead of our domain name slash WP dash admin, as we saw before, and it's going to replace it with login instead. And right here, you can customize it and use any login URL you'd like. I highly recommend you make some careful consideration when choosing your login URL. We want it to be something you can remember and something that's relevant or something that makes sense, but something that no one else can really figure out easily. And just for this video, I'm going to go ahead and write login test, and that's going to be our login URL. So all we have to do is type in our domain name slash login test to try and log into our WordPress dashboard. And down here, we have redirection URL. And this is the URL that will be shown when someone tries to access wp-admin while they're not logged in. And currently it's set to 404. We're going to leave it as is. And that's basically it. That's all our settings done. Let's go ahead and save changes down here and see how it's going to work. There we go. Settings saved. Awesome. So now that our settings have been saved, we can open a new incognito window and see how it's going to work. And instead of typing in wp-admin, let's go ahead and type in login test. As we see here, it worked. Here's our login page right here with our new URL login test. And we can go ahead and log in here as you would do normally. And I'll just quickly show you what happens if anyone tries to type in wp-admin like you normally would. I'm going to type that in here, wp-admin, just like so. And there we go. It takes us to our 404 page page not found. That's exactly what we want. So when someone tries to type in wp-admin, it's not going to take them anywhere. It's just going to show them page not found. So it's not going to take them anywhere that will allow them to log into your WordPress dashboard. So it's all safe. It's good to go. And that's it. That's how you change your login URL for your WordPress website. It was really easy and it adds that extra level of security onto your WordPress website. If you had any questions about any process we followed in this video, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And that's it for this tutorial. If you got value from the video, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo over here. And don't forget to watch even more WordPress tutorials by clicking on this playlist here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.